Hi guys, Harry here. Welcome to Scrap Science. Today we've got a nice simple procedure to perform. Uh, we're going to be making some concentrated ammonia by reacting ammonium sulfate with sodium hydroxide. Now the reason I'm making ammonia is simply because, well I need some for a future video, um, and I can't actually get hold of any uh, concentrated stuff here where I live. Uh, I have made some in the past, I have a little bit uh, from way ages ago I did some electrochemical splitting of ammonium sulfate, made some crude ammonia solution and boiled the ammonia out of that and uh, that's what this is. But the volume of ammonia uh, that I managed to make uh, previously is probably not going to be enough for the purpose that I have in mind so that's why today uh, we're going to be making some more. As I said before our reaction is going to be uh, the reaction between ammonium sulfate which I've got uh, a bit over 100 grams here in this two neck flask and we're going to be dripping a concentrated solution of sodium hydroxide onto our ammonium sulfate uh, that will liberate ammonia gas and a strong solution of ammonia in the flask. So we'll bubble the gas that comes off through some distilled water and um, later on we will boil the rest of the ammonia out of our solution. Well there we go, this is the setup basically. Uh, you can see what we've got here is our pressure equalised addition funnel. We'll fill this with a strong solution of sodium hydroxide and we'll be able to slowly drop that in uh, to our ammonium sulphate in the two neck flask. It would be nice if my lab stands had have come in the mail before making this video but whatever uh, we'll just balance it as well as we can. And then basically what we have is our gas takeoff which once we drop our sodium hydroxide solution onto the ammonium sulphate uh, the ammonia gas will have nowhere to go other than through this tube and it'll go over here to our beaker with an inverted funnel to act as a suck back trap. Anyway, let's get started. Uh, I'll make up the sodium hydroxide solution, put it in and we'll be good to go. And here is around 80 millilitres of very, very concentrated sodium hydroxide. So we'll just go ahead and pour that in. And then adding some distilled water to our beaker. Should be ready to go. Now, when I open the stopcock here, just ever so slightly and let a small amount of our sodium hydroxide solution drip onto the ammonium sulfate, uh, what we should see here is a bunch of gas being generated and bubbling up the sides of the beaker. So, let's get that going now. Hopefully I don't generate too much too quickly. Yeah, nice. That's exactly what we want to see. And then to give you a shot of what's going on in the flask, you can see a whole bunch of ammonia gas coming off the reaction there. Um, I might slow it down, but it seems to be relatively well behaved for now. You can see uh, down over here, we've got the ammonia gas. Well, obviously it's just regular air at this stage because the whole system hasn't filled up with ammonia, but pretty soon uh, that will be pure ammonia gas coming through and dissolving into solution. And that is the last of the sodium hydroxide added. Uh, you can see the device is still um, bubbling away very nicely. We've still got a load of ammonia gas still going through the system and it's all still being dissolved uh, by our gas collector here. So that's good. Anyway, as a demonstration that we have made ammonia here, I have here a bottle of hydrochloric acid. 
due to the fact that both the acid and the ammonia can evaporate and enter well, the air, I guess. If we bring them really close, you can start to see them actually react in the gas phase to form ammonium chloride, which is this really, really fine powder, which you see as this white smoke as the vapors come into contact with each other. Now the last step of the reaction that we need to do is actually heat uh, this mixture here because most of the ammonia that we generate actually seeing as our reaction between sodium hydroxide and ammonium sulfate actually generates water as a byproduct um, a lot of the ammonia will dissolve in the water that we're generating in the reaction and the water from our original sodium hydroxide solution so most of our ammonia ends up just sticking around in our reaction flask and the way to get that out is simply to heat it up and boil the ammonia out of solution. Now due to excessive foaming uh, I had to switch our two neck flask for a larger 500 milliliter flask there. Um, anyway um, we are now getting a whole bunch of ammonia gas passing through our gas collector once again so we know it's working we know we are actually uh, getting a bunch of ammonia that was in our solution and actually transferring it into the solution that we want here we have the ammonia that we've generated and if we bring our hydrochloric acid nice and close once again you can clearly see all of those ammonium chloride fumes so we do actually have quite concentrated ammonia there we go now that we've mixed it with the rest of my ammonia solution that I made previously we've got a little bit over 500 milliliters of concentrated ammonia all up I say concentrated ammonia but really uh, this ammonia is probably not much more than 10% um, in order to get a higher concentration I probably should have put the gas collecting um, beaker in an ice bath um, that way it would have dissolved a much greater amount of our ammonia but whatever I don't need high concentrations for the purpose that I've got planned for it so this will do now just as one final cool test that we can do with a concentrated ammonia solution I've got uh, around about 10 milliliters of our ammonia here and if we drop in a small amount of uh, basic copper carbonate what should happen normally basic copper carbonate is insoluble in water but in concentrated ammonia it should dissolve to form a purple solution you can see that forming there which is indicative of the tetraamine copper complex it doesn't show up particularly well on camera but it is a very very nice uh, kind of deep purple there but there we are uh, ammonia see you later